डायरेक्टर कॉम्रेड राम बाबू जोनल मैनेजर सुशांत गुप्ता जी ऑल माई कलीग्स ऑन डायस ऑफ द डायस ऑल्सो राम बाबू जी का भाषण आपने सुना द पीपल दे हु बिलोंग्स टू आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना दे हैव एन्जॉयड द स्पीच बट फ्यू ऑफ अमोंगस्ट अस दो आर आउट ऑफ आंध्रा दे वेरी ईगर टू लिसन ईगर टू हियर अबाउट दैट फाइव डेज बैंकिंग उतना तो हमको समझ में आया वट ही टोल्ड ही इज लीडिंग ए आई बी ए फ्रॉम द फ्रंट दैट्स वाई वी आर वेरी ईगर टू लिसन अबाउट दैट नॉट वी पीपल इंक्लूडिंग द मैनेजमेंट पीपल ऑल्सो गुप्ता जी मुझे पूछ रहे थे फाइव डेज का क्या हुआ मैं जस्ट वेट ही विल स्पीक आउट तो दैट इज गोइंग ऑन टू एलेबोरेट इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज आई वुड लाइक टू अगेन पार्ट यू दैट इट इज इन द प्रोसेस बस मेरे जैसे कुछ लोग हैं कि दोज हु वॉन्ट दैट इट शुड नॉट हैपन बिकॉज विद दिस टू डेज ऑफ सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ अवर यूनियन एक्टिविटीज हैव रप्चर्ड लाइक एनी थिंग इफ इट गोज फॉर फाइव डेज बैंकिंग ऑल ऑल द सैटरडेज आर टू बी ट्रीटेड एज हॉलीडेज वॉट विल हैपन आई मीन वरी लिव अपार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्रीटिंग द कॉन्फ्रेंस आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर फ्यू वर्ड्स बिफोर यू Second thing, you might have to witness that our beloved leader, Comrade Tuljapurkar, he is not on the dais. So let me share with you. He has started his journey. He 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 was on the airport of Delhi, right in the morning 6:30. Still he is there only. Once his flight was uh, take off, Leah, some technical problem was there. Again he landed in Delhi. Now he will start at 1 p.m. and we'll reach hyderabad at 310 at the venue in the second session after lunch session he will address us we all are eager to listen him also sathiyo do baatein hain very recently just one month before we had been to mumbai to experience the great 29th conference of iiba wo conference bahut badhiya thi in all sense the content the speakers the audience everything was excellent never before it happened we people from maharashtra state federation we are very proud we feel very proud that we could successfully conduct that conference there were two lines before our logo two slogans were there that is one is defeat the attempts of privatization means defend public sector banking and defeat the unionization the first slogan that is defend public sector public sector is under severe uh, what do you call attacks from the policy makers from the owners from the controllers we are witnessing some data is with me i would like to share with you with the advent of this karnataka election thanks to karnataka people the voters somehow they have postponed that onslaught of privatization at least by 2024 at least because the mandate if it goes against that is the only way out to arrest these policy makers to deviate from their agenda that magic had done by karnataka people now the time has come in the 24 election we have to be very cautious and we have to vote we have to act very politically because if we didn't then our future will be in dark that is certain that's why we have to resolve that in the coming uh, election we have to be more active proactive to secure our job to secure our economy so to secure our nation that is one agenda second thing is that though they have postponed their agenda very recently finance minister has told that the agenda of privatization of two more banks along with idbi we are not dropped we are working on that baat to saaf hai again that is gobels niti hai again and again they have to pronounce that their agenda just to impress upon the masses that we are on the way ye unki ye unke prayas to chalu hai simultaneously while doing so if you people have witness in your own banks 
the total public sector banks business model is undergoing a change a very drastic change keeping that ownership with the government the whole structure organizational structure as well as the policies of governing that bodies is undergoing a change what i mean to say when you see very recently one news has come that this is for the first time during last 10 year that public sector bank has recorded a record profit 13000 crores ka profit unhone earn kiya hai during last 10 years that was the highest in itself and they have given this and that dividend to the government of india means the notion the narrative of this public sector bank at the dictates of the policy makers is like that they want to run these institutions as a profit making institutions their slogan is that maximization of profit the very purpose of nationalization has got defeated long back by deeds they are doing the same thing for that what they are doing we bank of matter people are very versed with that the total while going for this maximization of profit the infrastructure the manpower in all count and they are running their own agendas up till last 2 3 years they were recruitment of around 20000 15000 say 20000 like that last 2 years it has gone up to 8000 7458 eight only in all public sector banks together means they want to shed out this permanent employment from this banking industry in place they are recruiting outsource and contract labor that is with the whole intention of maximizing the profit and weaken the uh, fighting uh, unions those who are coming in the ways of their agenda that was the uh, two way weapon they are using as per the data available in total banking including all private cooperative small finance everything presently there are 29 lakh banking correspondent are working 29 lakhs out of which just you go for that in alone andhra pradesh it is 86940 bcs are working in maharashtra bank it is some something 2247 like that if we club together psb alone that is 2,18,916 BCs are working. This is on one count. Simultaneously, all PSB chairman or the executives, corporate leaders, they are used to say, in Bank of Maharashtra, for example, they are saying that we are going to recruit 9,000 personnel under the different brackets, verticals, that is DSA, BCs, apprentice, what not. Everything is being shifted to outsource and contract model by paying a few uh, meager amount that 9000 10000 like that they are going to deploy those guys on the counters for all business purposes for all uh, job profiles means permanent employee employment is being replaced by contract labor on one count second count if we witness that with the advent of this maximization of profit the spread between interest earned and interest paid the hike in interest rates on credit is going on despite the well uh, uh, wishful thinking of finance minister or prime minister of india shaktikant das governor of reserve bank of india he can't afford to cut down that repo rate thereby that implication is on credit dispersal credit rates that is going uh, increasing at the same time the locals deposit on uh, even the term deposit also they are fetching very meager interest means there is a very less interest dispensation on deposit and higher uh, yield on advances with the advent of rate of interest by this or that way they are going to run this institute as a profit making institute by keeping aside the very uh, purpose very uh, aim of this nationalization this way they are moving this is a big challenge before us if you take bank of maharashtra specifically 
in bank of maharashtra also we are very well we are eager to listen about that also very up to, uh, till march this year we were fighting with the bank we have cre created a exemplary fight with bank of maharashtra management coming all together nine union seven unions three from officer and four from award staff union we fought for that what were the issues we were posing before the management core of core issue was the recruitment previously we took a issue of business model now we have taken the issue of recruitment they were saying that this is none of your domain you talk of your facilities your welfare uh, pulse and uh, this thing you don't talk of recruitment we being the important stakeholder of this nationalized banks that is bank of maharashtra we have got every right to pose this question ki what about the recruitment what about the infrastructure what about the business policy of the bank and not with our posture the management of bank of maharashtra never witnessed ever before ki what union is the local standee to pose these questions before the management they should not peep into the shoes of management humne kaha ki ye bank agar humne nationalize karke li hai aaj tak uska character bacha ke rakha hai to we have got every right to ask about this business model and the recruitment plan also ultimately the deputy chief labor commissioner as well as the zonal uh, corporate uh, leaders uh, rlcs alcs they have to accept that kiya yeah. do it is a domain of bank bank management employee they been suffered a lot they have got every right to pose this question ultimately that fight was raised we fought with this management vehemently with all our capacities and capabilities ultimately on 21st of march to 2023 we got a mou with bank of maharashtra uske baad ki baat hi sunne ke liye shayad aap utsuk hai you are eager to listen ki 21st ko humne mou kiya what was the conditions of that mou certain issues were emanated out of that hesitation hesitation ke chalte this bank management has come out very heavily and they have uh, made some excesses by deducting some uh, additional wages of that strike days by issuing charge sheet to some of our activists and leaders by transferring to of their all those issues four issues with this mou we got resolved all those issues that excess amount of salary was refunded by management ultimately they have to refund though they have tried their level best to defend their stand ultimately before the conciliation they have to agree and in last month uh, in the month of uh, i think april they have refunded that amount transfer was restored charge sheet of our staff were withdrawn both the charge sheet of comrade shrees tirekar and lalit kulte both we are here unke charge sheet bank ne wapas le liye in case of officers one issue was concluded another issue he being the pensioner that convener yet to be resolved that is it is on the way ultimately bank has to go back this is the power of that unity what we have raised we are proud that being all india federation we have taken a lead in associating all those unions keeping all our differences aside and uh, carry them with us to raise the big fight that fight was succeeded initially in the first phase with understanding of all those four issues regarding recruitment bank has agreed that apart from 300 clerical recruitment regular they are going to recruit 300 more second issue was that when they decide anything about the working condition of bank officers and employees they need to discuss that matter with the union concern either collectively or individually they have to discuss because we we are the majority union we have the stakeholder they are bound to discuss that matter for which they were very much reluctant ultimately with this mou they have agreed that we will discuss this matter with you and that right to representation who should represent the union is a core of core issue tha that we are not brought on that agenda of our uh, strike notice demand but it was our core issue 
that issue was posed and raised by all india federation and united forum ultimately bank has agreed that by by the end of june 23 we will take up this matter before the board of directors to revisit to review the decision means prima facie with the advent of that unity united uh, intervention they have to come down and say before the uh, conciliation officer or in the minutes also that they are ready to reconcile their stand we are meeting on 14th the uh, uh, mid of june 15 days to go for that like you we are also eager what bank has made 300 out of 300 clerical staff 163 has reported 163 has given the consent to report out of which 124 has reported actually 40 have demanded for extension supposing that 150 are there 50% reporting rate is there means that the backlog is there again they will place that backlog with ibps in this month only as told by the general manager hr secondly they have told that within a couple of days say 8 to 10 days they are going to launch another intent of 300 clerks with the ibps that is a great thing we presume we believe that he will maintain his words if not that will touch uh, i'll i'll talk on that but prima facie he says that i am going to fill up those vacancies directly not through ibps batches exam will be conducted by ibps but under the category of agriculture marketing legal everything this and that like 2011 batch per era batch they are going to recruit this 300 class in our bank that is the issue second thing in the coming board of directors meeting they are going to place that issue of right to representation and apart that the issue which is not surface in hyderabad or telangana uh, andhra pradesh or telangana that is union offices bank has abruptly taken out as the unions to evict their union offices it was started from lokmangal there we are ha- having our own union office like ours that is nobo aibo aibo a we three unions are having offices at lokmangal apart that all our affiliates most of the aff- affiliates mumbai pune aurangabad nashik nagpur kolkata they are having their union offices with their lo headquarters all those offices except kolkata and nashik all were evicted by the management very forcefully by quoting the reason that paucity of space is there everybody knows even the bank management is also knows that in nagpur also two floors are empty lying empty in mumbai also plenty of place is there in aurangabad plenty of place is there despite that they have uh, deliberately attempted to disturb the union to disturb the union activity to disturb their intervention to weaken their intervention during our agitation they used to say that these recruitment and all those things work like balance is not the core issue real issues their issues are right to representation because these old guys those who are retired from bank services they want to again lead that organization we don't want to find the place them on formal forum isliye wo ye kar rahe hain यूनियन ऑफिस हमने ले लिए इसलिए वो कर रहे हैं बात ऐसी थी कि हमने इन एक्चुअल सेंस 13,000 लोगों का जो सेंस था व्हाट बॉडम दे आर कैरिंग वही वर्किंग इन द ब्रांचेस इन ऑफिस इंक्लूडिंग ऑल एग्जीक्यूटिव इंक्लूडिंग ऑल सुशांत गुप्ता जी ऑल्सो वेन ही वॉज द वर्किंग इन कलकत्ता वेन ही वॉज वर्किंग इन चंडीगढ़ नाउ ही इज वर्किंग इन हैदराबाद ऑल्सो ही नोज वेरी वेल हाउ टू मैनेज विद दिस हैंडफुल पीपल again he has to go for 10 to 15 branches new branches to be opened bank bank has projected 230 branches to be opened before march 24 see the fun at least one branch need one single clerk that is cashier that too is not possible with this present position then how they are going to open nobody can ask this question on their behalf also we are raising this question that's why we we wait up to, wait up to june if they didn't maintain their promise in respect of right to representation in respect of recruitment 
again we have to assemble we have to rethink we have decided in the first week of july united forum of mahabank unions will assemble they will discuss they will take a stock of the situation and decide further course of action comrades be ready we we should not be complacent we are fighting with a big boss not boss means cs rajiv he is representing the government of india he is representing the dfs it is the model being piloted by this government government has officially communicated to all psb chairmen that hence for don't recruit a single recruit sub staff already they have abolished the post of uh, pts now they are going to abolish the post of sub staff and unofficially they are saying that in the days to come say in 2 4 to 5 years this clerical recruitment will be zero they don't want class in the banks recently i had an interaction with some general manager he was telling me what initiative bank is taking technology with the advent of technology transformation most of the jobs are being taken away from our class our cashiers our officers there is no need of manual intervention if a person officer goes to a place of borrower simply he touches the uh, link it will be recorded that his location will be recorded in the system there is no need that i have visited post uh, pre visit or post sanction visit if that borrower put his thumb on that device his b2 will be uh, uh, renewed there is no need of any paper central data will take up that image and update the system that cbs system means intervention of technology will eliminate the intervention of human being that's why they are saying this is the model being piloted by the government that industry they need to be with this advent of ai and all those things what will happen we can't imagine under the circumstances we have to retain our jobs we have to retain our relevance until unless we go and open the shutter of that bank bank will not run still we are running the bank just with this handful people only with compromising the procedure and practices मैनेजर यूज टू से यार आदमी तो नहीं है क्या करना है उसका आईडी तुम ले लो तुम काम करो अवर पीपल ऑफिसर क्लरिकल स्टाफ दे हैविंग अ डीप बॉन्डेज विद दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन दे वांट दैट वर्क टू बी कंप्लीटेड वर्क ऑफ दैट कस्टमर इज टू बी कंप्लीटेड बाय कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग डायल्यूटिंग दैट प्रोसीजर सिक्योरिटी गाइडलाइंस विजिलेंस गाइडलाइंस दे आर परफॉर्मिंग दर ड्यूटीज ऑल ऑफ सडन general manager or deputy general manager got a message from their higher ups nothing doing i want this and that by today evening in turn they have to pass on that message to field that's why again what we have stopped now formation of whatsapp group again it has revived not to conduct any meeting despite the communication from gm hrm and assurance from executive director hr that helps for until unless government exigency is there no meeting of officer will be conducted on any holiday or sunday saturday despite that it is being going on and it will go on in the month of june itself our bank will record something more stressed asset ram bank of maharashtra is known recognized as the best performing bank on three four counts one of them is the growth rate of ram retail agriculture and msme that is more than 25% it is highest in industry our profit has grown 136% our npa coverage ratio is 95 to 96% that's why to maintain that net profit percentage 0.25 so many accounts are being considered as a technical right of accounts some technical things are there but this juggler is being going on not only in bank of maharashtra in almost all banks just to exhibit and demonstrate that my bank is the best bank in real sense in the days to come if it is continue systemic crisis will be there in bank of maharashtra i was telling him in uh, zone like latur there are 42000 mkcc accounts zone like aurangabad 58000 zone like akola 33000 zone like solapur 
nearly 40,000. Clubbing together, three, four zones will comprise much more than any other uh, 30, 35 zones. How they will serve those accounts? They need at least one single person that is absent. Despite that, he is being told nothing going, I don't want to listen. Otherwise, higher and fire will be there. Any person from scale 1 to scale 7 was shunted from this place to that place under the norm of that NARP performance. Actually, it is not, not, uh, it is not a non-performance. It is an exploitative model. We have to understand. That's why this officer and our staff community come together, sharing each other's sorrows and uh, difficulties. And we have decided ki we will wait up to June. If the promises of the bank management are not being fulfilled or they are not moving towards that, then again we will have to raise the voice. Be prepared for that. We are not tend to any hesitation all the while for all the reasons. But if it comes on our job security, if it comes tangent to our work life balance, then we have no other option than to raise the fight. We have created a history, but history is need to be repeated again and again. Because this time this fight is not with X or Y or Z sitting in Lokmangal. It is with the policy prescription being planted by this government, these policy makers and RBI, all those things. Recently, RBI governor has conducted one VC. He has addressed the board of directors members, members of board of directors. And they have said that the way in which we, you people are moving, in the days to come, you will meet an accident. Be cautious. This was the, uh, what you call, alarm given by governor. One who comes for a specific tenure, he will confine his working to that tenure only. After that, go to hell with that bank or this and that. That's why this bank is our bank yesterday, today is our bank, and after that, our bank is also our bank. Most of the people, nearly 65%, have to spend 25 to 35 years in this institute. People like me are being uh, taking on an exit route. You will have to raise the fight. Fighting for protecting the ownership, fighting for second option of pension, that is the industry issues. And AIB is enough competent to deal with that. Simultaneously, bank-wise unions, being a bank-wise union, we have to concentrate on the, all those things. Yeah, we are proud that we belong to Bank of Maharashtra, which, which is reckoned as the best performing banks. Since last 23 quarters, we are booking profits. That is the upward graph is there. All those things are made by we people, not any corporate people. Sitting in that corporate offices, no. Field offices, up to scale 4, that zonal managers, clerks, substaff, everybody has exerted their level best and they have made this wonderful result. We will maintain it, provided bank management also should listen to our just demands. If they try to ignore again, then again we have to raise the fight. I, I, I think we are switch on, switch off uh, like people. In Andhra Pradesh also this vibrant union, what Rambabu is saying, yeah, I do fully endorse and agree with his uh, sayings, his remarks, that the vibrancy in, in this state, in this membership, though it is few in number, even though they represent 90% of this zone's membership, that is there. And their intervention in working also, in union activities also, it is much, much better than any other uh, group and section. I appeal all of you to maintain this zeal, be prepared for that, and without coming in anybody's pressure or pressure tactics, we have to raise our voice, because those are our just demands. We have earned this Profit on this status, we have to maintain it, but for that, be prepared for the fight. With this, I conclude. Thank you. Thank you very much.